We captured about 334. Frankly, the roundups are leading to the slaughter of horses. Wild horses live all over the western United States, including here in parts of Utah so remote that many people have never even seen one. But there are thousands, and by some assessments, too many. So how many wild horses can the land sustain, and how or when should humans intervene? At Fox 13, we know complicated issues have many different viewpoints. Here's Bob Evans with our latest 360 report. It's a really hard day for all of us. July 13th, the Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, kicks off what they call a wild horse gather in Tooele County. They invited us to observe along with advocates for wild horses who were often at odds with the BLM. We've selected a, a good viewing site. Yeah, I guarantee you, you guys probably don't like it. Some of you won't like it, but uh, it's, it's the best that we could come up with. So. Uh, across all this land? I mean, I'm sorry. That yeah, we've got another question. From the viewing site, you can see how horses flee from the low-flying helicopter, kicking up dust as they run across the range. What's out of view is the area where the wild horses are corralled, loaded onto trucks, and driven away. The BLM says it's dangerous for us to be too close to the action. Critics say the real danger is for the horses. Those newborn foals do not survive mass roundups. The roundups or gatherings are complicated, costly, and controversial. So why do they happen? Lisa Reed is the public affairs specialist for the BLM. The appropriate management level for this area is between 196 and 210, and we're vastly approaching 500 with this year's foal crop. Appropriate management level is a designation for how many wild horses the land in a given area can sustain. The appropriate management level for any herd management area was decided back in the 70s. The BLM has herd management areas all over the western U.S., including 19 in Utah. Most are in remote areas where wild horses have little to no human contact. But the herd at the center of this story, the Anakee, named after a nearby mountain range, is different. They have just over the years become more and more desensitized to human. Hi baby. This is file video from 2019, a story about a photographer who says being near the horses is a life-changing experience. Because the Anaki are less than two hours from Salt Lake City, they get a fair number of visitors. The BLM says 435 of the horses were removed from the herd over several days in July. They say 123 horses, mostly females given long-lasting birth control, have returned to the range. The remaining 300-plus horses? Other ones will be put into our adoption program, and it'll be available online so that everyone across the United States will have the same opportunity to adopt. What is your horse's name, and are you able to ride him? Oh, yeah. His name's El Regalo, which means the gift in Spanish. I've had him for seven years. Kimberly Curl's horse was once wild in Wyoming and now lives on her ranch in California. I actually jump him, which is not normal for a what you would think of a wild horse doing, but we take jumping lessons. But not all adopted horses fare as well. The roundups are leading to the slaughter of horses. Susan Roy of the American Wild Horse Campaign says thousands of formerly wild horses have lingered in holding facilities, unwanted. Low adoption fees, she says, pave the way for nefarious buyers to turn a profit by reselling the horses for meat in other countries. We would like to see a move away from from helicopter roundups and toward humane on the range management with fertility control. The goal would be to not have to either, you know, ever gather or remove horses from the range, but we're just not there yet. The BLM says drought conditions necessitated a dramatic reduction of the Anaki herd this summer. We've seen that our water supply for the horses is starting to deplete due to the heat. I'm not going to be wooed by Lisa Reed's attempt at you know, half-baked publicity out on the range. But Ashley Avis, director of the Disney movie Black Beauty and founder of the advocacy group Wild Beauty, says the drought is just one of many distractions from a bigger issue. To give deference and preferential treatment to tax-subsidized livestock grazing. The BLM tells Fox 13 News ranchers have voluntarily reduced grazing on the Anakis range by as much as 90%.
It's really important to note that cattle and sheep graze very differently than wild horses. They eat a lot more, they drink a lot more. As for the appropriate herd management levels established in the 70s? In 2013, the National Academy of Science, a group of, non of nonpartisan scientists, debunked the fact that they debunked that the AMLs were, were ever constructed using fact and science. Ava says the Anaki Roundup had a more humane kickoff on July 13th when our cameras were rolling. The helicopter stayed much further back than any other roundup I've ever seen. But the operation increased in intensity on day two after we left. They don't want you seeing the injuries that happen. And on that day, a mare did break her leg and was put down. The very next day, when I asked in front of the Associated Press, which were standing right behind Lisa Reed, did any horses die? No, not due to gather operations. It was just a lie. The BLM's website currently acknowledges one horse did die. I think the entire horse and burrow program needs to be reassessed before we continue with these antiquated roundups. It's important to point out that not all horse advocates share the same views, and the BLM says it's open to new ideas. We will work with those who are willing to work with us and not with those who are there just for hateful means. Bob Evans, Fox 13 News, Utah. Now, several horses that were rounded up in the video seen in this story, we understand will be available for auction starting October 12th. We'll have a link with more information on our website.